Hey, what's up everyone? It's Steph from Steph Lee Films. Today is a very exciting day because what I have in my hands is the brand new ATEM streaming bridge from Blackmagic Design. It was supposed to be released a few months back and when they released information on this new device, it got everyone so excited. Then shipment was delayed and... But never mind, like they all say, better late than never. But never late is better. Anyway, in today's video, I will give you a complete review of the ATEM streaming bridge, how to use it, when to use it, and why would you want to use it. So without further ado, let's dive right in. I'll talk about the three ways you can connect your ATEM Mini Pro to the streaming bridge, namely direct connection, network connection, and internet connection. So first up, direct connection. This is the simplest way to get the ATEM streaming bridge operating with your ATEM Mini Pro. First, you power up your ATEM streaming bridge. Then you connect an ethernet cable from streaming bridge to your ATEM Mini Pro, which already has a camera connected to one of its inputs, which is usually source one. Then connect a HDMI cable from the streaming bridge to your TV or monitor. Press the on air button on the ATEM Mini Pro and your video, which is what you're recording from your camera, will appear on your TV or monitor. Kazam! Okay, the next connection is the network connection. This, I find it very useful in our everyday lives. Okay, not exactly everyday lives, but in our professional context. So you can connect the ATEM streaming bridge to your network and place it anywhere in the building. This can be used when you want to live stream to a conference room or a video projector, which is so applicable to our COVID situation right now worldwide. Where gatherings are limited, but yet whatever is happening in the main hall, say for example, a CEO live interview or a wedding solemnization, this can be broadcast to other rooms or ballrooms in the buildings when you have limited number of gatherings of crowds. The only thing you need to be aware of is to have a streaming bridge in every conference room that you have audience who are watching and make sure your A10 Mini Pro sends the correct video signals to these streaming bridges. So first, power up the A10 streaming bridge. Then connect the A10 streaming bridge to your network. Then connect a HDMI cable from your streaming bridge to your TV, monitor or projector. Connect your ATEM Mini Pro to the same Ethernet network. Connect the ATEM Mini Pro to your laptop using the USB-C connection so that you can start up the ATEM software control panel. Under the streaming palette, click on Platform drop-down. Confirm that the ATEM streaming bridge option is listed in the menu and select it. Lastly, press the on air button on the ATEM Mini Pro and kazam! Now you should see your video appearing on the TV or monitor or projector. So what happens after you have done the above setup and nothing is happening? The most common problem that you may face is the ATEM streaming bridge does not appear in the list of drop down menu. The main culprit for this is likely that your ATEM Mini Pro and the streaming bridge are not on the same network. How do you check? Connect a USB-C cable from your computer to the streaming bridge and boot up the ATEM setup software. You should see the ATEM streaming bridge as one of the devices you can connect to the ATEM setup. Click the streaming bridge icon to open up the settings. Now you can see all the information of your ATEM streaming bridge and the network settings. If you are connected via local network, set the protocol to DHCP. This will let your ATEM streaming bridge find its network address on the network automatically. And generally, this is the simplest and easiest way of connecting to a local network. I mean, unless you are a network engineer or a pro, leave it as DHCP. Wait for a while and the ATEM streaming bridge should appear on your list. And since while you are here, you would probably want to give a custom name or custom names to each individual streaming bridge that you might have just for the simplicity and the ease of recognition. For example, if you have one streaming bridge placed in Ballroom 1, you might want to name it as Ballroom 1, Ballroom 2, Ballroom 2. You get the point. 
For security purposes, you might want to set a password for this streaming bridge in case anyone crashes in onto your video link. Select local network with key. Just remember to enter this same key in your A10 Mini Pro to allow them to talk to each other on the network when you press on air. One more security feature is the option to disable remote configuration via Ethernet. What does this mean? Enabling this means any changes on your ATEM streaming bridge can only be done this way, like what we are doing now, physically connecting a cable to the streaming bridge on your laptop and making changes manually instead of remotely over the network. This makes it more secure because you are physically at the streaming bridge and not doing it over the network. Now for the third and final and most exciting way to use the A10 Mini streaming bridge via the internet. Yes, which means myself now and you, my viewers, can actually connect and do a live stream together using our A10 Mini Pros. So how do we do that? First, we need to put the streaming bridge, this little guy, on the internet. So connect an ethernet cable from your existing network to the ethernet port of the streaming bridge. The ATEM streaming bridge will attempt to do a port forwarding, meaning putting your streaming bridge on the public internet for other ATEM Mini Pros to find it. How to check? Connect a laptop to the streaming bridge to check the settings. Click on internet and check this internet status here. Once you see visible worldwide, you are successfully connected. You might run into some issues with network connection because of firewall settings and such. So if that happens, do check with your network administrator on configuring your settings. So now we've got our streaming bridge out there in the internet. How do the A10 Mini Pros attempt to connect to it? This is simple. So we need to extract an XML file from the A10 streaming bridge and pass it to the A10 Mini Pro, which is attempting to connect to it. So in the streaming bridge settings, click on external ATEM Mini Pro here. The platform is the name of the streaming bridge, so I'm going to name it Steph SB1. Then save the ATEM settings. You can see the name of this saved XML file which has all the settings stored inside. So with this file, you can send it to anyone in the world who has an A10 Mini Pro and wants to connect to your streaming bridge. So once you receive the XML file, go to your A10 Mini Pro software control panel under Stream, Import A10 Streaming Settings and load this XML file. Then go to your output and platform, you can see this streaming bridge. And when you click on air, So there you have it, a complete guide to using the ATEM streaming bridge with your ATEM Mini Pro. I hope with this video you have a very clear idea of how to use the streaming bridge and when will you use the streaming bridge. Actually, I'm pretty interested to hear your comments on how with these three types of connections, direct, network, and internet, would you use for your field of work? Or if you have any suggestions on how they will work in the real life so that I can share with everyone and everyone who watches this channel may have a sort of an idea how to best use this new equipment from Blackmagic Design. Again, before I end this video, I would like to say it really means a lot to me if you found any of the information I shared today useful and if you can give this video a like. So it encourages me to continue making such videos for you. If you have any comments at all, feel free to leave them below so I can work on my future content and bring you something that you like. If you want to learn more about photography and videography on my channel, as well as learn about new updates and offerings from Blackmagic Design, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And since you are here, do check out two of my other videos here. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.